Yo guys, what's going on? It's Dan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is something different from the AFC Newmark Road to Glory. This is a season one preview of FC United of Manchester. This save is going to be predominantly on my Twitch, which is floating on the screen now. So make sure you go over there and follow me. And what we're going to do is at the end of every season, we're going to do a review and upload it to YouTube. So FC United, their finances are pretty decent for this level. So we have 100 p. So we have 110,000 pounds in the bank. We have a transfer budget of 11,000 and a wage budget of 3,000. Currently, we just over 400 pounds available. Looking at our squad, we've got. Relatively thin squad. We've got some players who are very decent, and we have some young prospects which we actually own. First up is Connor Bell, a young striker who was just automatically generated into this team. This guy is a target man with 16 heading, which is pretty decent. If we can get his speed up, this guy could be very good for us in the league. Could be used as a backup or even start to feature throughout the season. The second youngster is Michael Anderson. He's an attacking midfielder who most likely is going to get trained as a striker for us. Pretty well-rounded player, great flair. Again, he's got great potential to hopefully get us to that potential and either earn us money off selling him to a bigger club or to be of value through it for us as we move up the leagues. In our hierarchy we have no team leaders, we have Potts and Cole as highly influential players and then Jones as an influential players and everyone else goes down as other players. So the formation we're going to be playing this season is a 4-4-2. We're going with a positive mentality. In possession we're going with more direct passing, pass into space, play for set pieces and underlap on both the wings. In transition we are saying distribute to the flanks, distribute quickly, counter and counter press. Out of position we're saying defend narrower, have a higher defensive line, Higher line of engagement, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and use the offside track. And this is the lineup most likely you'll be using throughout the season for now. Um, it's not a bad lineup at all. Pretty decent players, and if we get small players in to fill out the squad depth, it should be great for us this season. So if we look at our squad depth, as strikers, we have our starting two with. Owolobi and Linney and then our backups are Connor Bell and Anderson, our two youngsters. Left mid is looking quite weak with Ennis a centre mid playing out there, Dodd a left back out there but he's our starting left back so he's not going to play there or Morgan Holmes and Smith. Centre mid, we're looking pretty strong. We've got four players who can play there pretty well. Right wing, again, we've got a lot of players who can play there well. Centre backs were okay. Full backs were okay. And goalkeeper were okay. So most likely the position we're going to be looking to strengthen is a left mid. And then potentially a left back. Just because this guy is a right back, he can play over a left back. So looking at our staff, we don't have the highest average in anything. We have more coaches than we're allowed because we come from a higher level. We don't have a head of youth development. We don't have a director of football. We don't have any scouts or a data analyst. And we only have a head physio. So heading into the start of the season, we're going to look to bolster the squad staff players or staff members and we should fill this out a lot and it should help the team during this season. So if we look at our competitions in the Betvictor Northern Premier Division 
the board expectation is to reach the promotion playoffs in the FA Cup. They want us to reach the fourth qualifying round. The Build Bay's FA Trophy, they want us to reach the third round. And the Velocity Trophy is not important to them. So if we look at our club info now, our current captain is Michael Potts. Um, we don't have a vice captain selected. Our key player is Larnell Cole. And our hot prospect is Connor Bell. As you can probably also see, we have three custom designed kits by me just to make it look a little bit cleaner. So we have the home kit of course in red, the away kit in white and the third kit in blue. So the stadium we play in is Broadhurst Park. It's got a 4,400 capacity. Pitch condition is good. In the past, we've won the Bet Victor Northern Premier Division once and the Hallmark Security League North West once. So we don't have any derbies, which is interesting. I would have said Manchester United is a derby, but okay. Fierce rivals, we have Leeds. Liverpool and Man City. We don't have any affiliated clubs. We could potentially look for a senior affiliate. Could help us out as we move up the leagues. So if you look at our facilities. Our stadium is still relatively new. It was built in 2015. Uh, we own it of course. So no issues there. It's in good condition, thankfully. No under soil heating, no roof, and it's a grass surface. Its dimensions are 93 meters by 61 meters. That's the current um, pitch length. The maximum dimensions are 120 meters by 90 meters. And of course, the pitch condition is good. We have basic corporate facilities, basic training facilities, Poor data analyst facilities and basic youth facilities with a 4 on our youth level. Um, the Broadhurst Park Stadium in Manchester is our youth stadium as well. We have average academy coaching and fairly basic youth recruitment. So if, if we look at the history... So in 2007-2008, they got promoted from this league. Oh no, sorry, they got promoted to this league. Where they stayed until... Or, I mean, they went on a good incline, moving up. They finished third, second, then first. And the first was in 2014-2015, which saw them play in the Vanarama National League North. Where they stayed for four seasons, but in the fourth, they were relegated in 21st place. So hopefully we can lift the team back up into the Vanarama National League North and push them forwards. So if we look at the club background, founded in 2005, FC United of Manchester are a semi-professional English club currently playing in the Betfic, the Northern Premier Division. FC United suffered relegation from the Vanarama North last season and will need to adjust to life in the Betfic in the Northern Premier Division. The club play their home games at Broadhurst Park and possesses basic training facilities and basic youth facilities. The club also have average academy coaching and fairly basic youth recruitment network. The club is affectionately known as Red Rebels and retains a fierce rivalry with Leeds, Liverpool and Man City. Having enjoyed success as recently as 2015, Red Rebels are a club with a growing history. FC United won the English 7th tier for the only time in 2015 and finished runners-up once. They finished runners-up in the English 8th tier for the only time in 2008 and won the English Knight Theatre for the only time in 2007. So that's a bit of the background. 
Obviously, if you look at the honours, it's what we've just said, just summed up here nicely. So they haven't won anything since 2015. Hopefully, we can change that. If we look at the managers, they've had Neil Reynolds, who we've replaced. And hopefully, we can do a job. If we look at our transfer history, this is what the club has done this season without me doing anything. So they've let Sam Baird go, a centre-back, who played 33 times for the team over the course of three years. And in his last season at the club, he scored one goal. Pompey has left, a striker, playing 21 times for FC United, only scoring five goals over one year period. And he has returned to Altrincham, which he previously played for before he joined FC United. Stefan O'Halloran, a left back, has gone to Staley Bridge after being at FC United for one season, getting 41 games under his belt. So he pretty much played the entire season, but it didn't go too well for him. And yeah, he does have two caps, however, for Ireland. But he did used to play in league football, which explains why. Kurt Willoughby, another striker, joined FC Fylde. Uh, this man had a good season for us last year. That's probably why he left. He appeared 39 times, scoring 17 goals, which is very good for a striker, of course. He's... Youth career was at Fleetwood and obviously just moved about the non leagues. Joined Clitheroe, which is where he got his first break. And then he joined FC United, of course. Doing well, and now he's up into the National League. And the final player we let go was Harry Winter, a centre mid at 30. Played 20 games for us, and he's now at Radcliffe. He's been in us in different spells as well and unfortunately he just didn't seem to help us last season so now looking at the signings they made they signed Adam Dodd a left back pretty decent left back Jack Lenahan a central midfielder with potential because he's 20 years old Regan Linning 22 year old striker has potential of course Curtis Jones a bit of experience at centre back Larnell Cole came in on a free from Tranmere which is huge if you look at his coach report leading player for most Vanarama national sides but we have him in the league below the Vanarama National League North and South And the final signing is Cameron Balford in on loan from Nuneaton. This man has been about it in league football for a long time. And his career is sort of petered out a bit now. He's slowing down. And obviously he's on loan at us. He's not going to feature too much. And that is it for this page. If we go to the club info. Or the club vision sorry. Our five year plan is to obviously reach the playoffs. And to get the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. And reach the third round of the Bill Bay's trophy. And in three years they want us to be in the promotion to the Vanarama North so hopefully we are going to be able to do that a lot quicker than the game expects us to be and hopefully yeah of course we can I reckon we can potentially win the league this season and just go up into the North South and if we look at our finances and if we look at the income last month most of our money came in from season tickets and sponsorship and also fundraising. Expenditure 
loans and repayments, which is unfortunate because we've got a repair loan. So if we look at our debts and loan, we have a loan which is only got 100k remaining, which we are paying 9.5k towards each month. If we look at our sponsors, our main kit sponsor is it 25k. Our general sponsor is it 30k. And our club membership produces 55k. Which is very decent. And if we look at our projection, they expect at the end of this season we'll be down at 30k. That's most likely due to the repayments. And then they expect us to start making profit which is really important so the final thing we need to look at is our development center so if we look at our loans we've obviously got our two loanees coming in morgan homson smith is our other loanee not quite sure if we showed him you earlier but he's quite a versatile player, can play anywhere really in the attacking side of things, which is where he's going to be commonly used. And we have Markel Folds loaned out. He's a 18 year old centre back, one and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. He's currently on loan at Clitheroe. Um, this lad has come through previously at Salford. And obviously we've got him now, thankfully. Someone who we can develop and potentially sell for money. If we look at some other youth players who have been generated here, we have Shamar Field, centre midfielder, right mid or left mid. Only one star current ability, but he does have five star potential. Could definitely amass to something. We'll probably look to loan him out this season, see if he can develop. If not, he'll obviously just be a backup player for us in the future. We're going to have Martin Peters, a left midfielder. Very good physicals. Decent technicals for what we need him to be. So if we get this guy match experience um, out on loan somewhere, he could definitely come back in to the team and do a good job for us. We then have Anthony Vernon, a right back. Mentally, he's pretty good. Physically, he's not bad. Technically, he's a little bit poor. But if we get this guy, again, match experience, he should be pretty decent for us. And the final youth player we got through of note is Halam Whittaker, a right midfielder. Again, pretty decent physicals. Technically, he's not bad. Mentally, he's not bad. Again, if we get this guy out on loan... He should be able to do a job for us. So that is going to be it for this video guys. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Go follow me on Twitch. And I'll catch you next time.